y'all what is up yes. happy halloween so chicken wings we're not doing much for Halloween tonight, like John and myself, I mean. So I was thinking to myself, I wanted to play a spooky game. I was looking through like, what could I play for Halloween? And like, I had a whole bunch of people at one point, I think like a couple weeks ago, were like, look at this dating simulator, you should play it for Halloween. And I'm like, why? Why would I play a dating simulator for Halloween? Anyway, it says on the, on the Steam store page for it that it's disturbing, but it doesn't say why. So the only thing I looked up about it as I asked uh, the internet if it had any jump scares in it or any screamers or anything like that and from what I found and I hope I'm right about this uh, no it does not other than that it's apparently supposed to be scary but I don't see it I didn't really look because I don't want to spoil myself so don't you do that I do have mods watching in the wings and waiting for your ban hammer to come flying down if you do um now, if you guys know me, you know that I not only love dating simulators, but I happen to have a soft spot in my heart for dating simulators that have one or two girls or boys in it that are a little, shall we say, off? <laughs> yeah, I love crap like that. I love it. I love messed up people. I want to date them all. If that's in this game, then I'm going to be very happy. That being said, I have a feeling, because they do warn about this on the Steam page, that some of the things that they touch upon are going to be disturbing for those who are easily triggered to them. So I just want to put this out in the beginning that if you are a highly sensitive individual and you feel you have to leave, then, then go ahead and do that. Whatever it takes for you to be safe. Um... That being said, I usually don't have a problem with any of that. Uh, the game gets heavy. It's okay. You know what? I'm of the uh, I'm of the the thought that sometimes heavy things occur in life, and I know that it's you don't want to think about stuff like that or see it, um, but sometimes it's just there. So let's try to make the best of it if we can. Uh, but I want to see I want to see some beautiful messed up women. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Okay. I, okay. There it is. I said it. Fine. <laughs> Spoiler, there's literature. <laughs> I also like literature. So this is going to be a win-win for me. I heard that there, and someone did spoil me on the fact that there are apparently a lot of secrets in this game. Now I'm not spoiling myself, so we're just going to find whatever we find and that's going to be the end of it uh, for now, okay? So we'll do our best. I am so ready. All right, oh, well. Look at how cute they are, though. Oh, I'm very excited. I already see which one I like, and that's this tall one with the dark hair right here. Aesthetics-wise alone, I like her. Hopefully she's not too nuts. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Well, I'm out, because I am a child, actually. Oh. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Okay. I'm going to stick with it. Hold my hand, guys. <laughs> it's okay. What do you mean, hopefully she's not too messed up? Well, they all can't be messed up. Surely there's like one that probably causes trouble for everyone. That's usually how it happens. I played a lot of visual novels and dating sims in my time. I can already tell you that something weird's gonna happen here. It's usually the one you least suspect. Oh. Ooh, touch it. Duh, 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 duh. Just remember that it is a game and we're all here together as friends. It'll be okay. Don't worry, grab your butt buddy. Everyone got a butt buddy? Grab my balls. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you're at least 13 years of age and consent to exposure of highly disturbing content. Wow, they really wanted to, to push this home. I'm starting to worry now. I'm sure it'll be okay, right? I played Rule of Rose. That was really disturbing, too. Look at their beautiful, aren't they? Aw, oh, bless. <gasps> oh, come on. Is it... Are they just trolling me? It's a troll thing, right? They're so cute. They're gosh darn adorable. There's, that was a lot of warnings for something this cute. This is too cute. I don't even want to, I don't want to leave the screen. I'm worried now because there's no way that this is going to be bad, right? Guys. <laughs> Please enter your name. All right. We're going with the regular person name instead of Jin today. Oh, oh, now we can't see the chat at all. <laughs> Wait. 
there's got to be some happy medium we can use. Fine. We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to hope. We need to hope and pray. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friends you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other so long? Mm-hmm. I got friends like that. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Oh! So he doesn't like her? However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, she's cute! Aw, oh, look at her. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me! Look, aw, oh, bless. Look, she's so adorable, isn't she that? That's mean, Luca. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Well, I like her already. Isn't she grand? <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. Hey, look, we live in like a nice neighborhood. Maybe we're like loaded. I don't know. By the way, Luca, have you decided on a club to join yet? Uh, can I join the Big Butts Booty Jogging Club? Because that's what I want. Big Butt Booties. A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Nah, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Wow, we're kind of rude. Man, don't be so mean. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. I'm assuming that we're a boy, correct? Give or take? <laughs> it's a boy? Okay. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Can I pretend to be a girl? <laughs> what if I want to be a girl? Clubs. Sayuri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Can I- can I make it so I'm a girl? I'm gonna try to do it. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Ah, uh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad if you like to write. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only does it because she thought it'd be fun to help start a new club. They probably write fanfics and everything. It's probably great. Guys, this is like a fanfic club because I'm in. We're going to write fanfics all day. Real good ones, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Oh, come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Anime. <laughs> Wait, did I say anime? I'm sorry, it's just the anime club's really on my mind. Well, I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Man, you're not very nice to your friend, Luca. You need to be a little bit nicer. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Is that a euphemism? Okay, well. Sorry, I had the contrast turned up because we uh, streamed Final Fantasy last. I think cupcakes is a euphemism. I'm ready. Oh, we're already gonna bag a babe. I'll tell you that right now. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Again, that's gotta be a euphemism. No? Yes? Yes. Everyone, the new member's here. I- Oh, sorry, that's me. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glanced around the room. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is- okay. I'm, I'm with this. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. She looks, um, guys, I don't know if this is a coincidence and don't tell me if it is. Uh, she reminds me of somebody. She's pretty. She looks like Ayas too. <laughs> Surely nothing's gonna happen with her. Whoa, whoa, she's cute too! Seriously, you brought a boy? 
Way to kill the atmosphere! Oops. But what if I told you I was a girl? What then? Will that change anything? Ah, Luca, what a nice surprise! Oh, she's cute too! God, they're all so cute! Oh, I like this one the best here. Welcome to the club. Thanks, I think. All words escape me in this situation. Uh, yeah, they're kind of staring at me a little bit. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! Hell yes, I am ready for this. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Sorry. Natsuki? Ugh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Well, that's rude. You don't know shit about her. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh, sorry! Wrong girl! Too many girls! There's so many girls! What do I do? Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm digging this. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, this is the one I want right here. I don't give a crap. It's probably this one that's the crazy axe murderer in this or something, whatever the hell happens, because it's always the tiny cute ones that are the worst, isn't it? Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Luca. How do I know this one? Is she in my class or something? Oh, <laughs> she's cute. Monica smiles sweetly and and bends over to hide a fart. I don't know. What's she doing? That's weird. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, I see, okay. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, she does look it, doesn't she? She looks the part. Basically completely out of my league. Girl, don't think that. Come sit down, Luca. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then, how about I make some tea as well? Yeah. Um, so no spoilers, but can I just pick whatever I feel is right? Or is there something I should be trying to do here? Is it like Panzer models where you want to focus on one girl? Or can is it not that strict? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. You can do whatever you want. So I can't fuck it up, is what you're saying. Okay. Then I'm gonna play it the way I want. Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Sorry, alright. That's what I would have done anyway. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! <gasps> Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats! The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Aw, can we see them? It sounds so cute. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Oh, is that a euphemism? Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She wants to make sure you like it, of course. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. She said that she did. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Oh. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not, not for you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Baka! After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? True, she's very learned. I can tell already. I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're always just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Are these two always in cahoots? I can always tell that these two are rivals, aren't they? Right? Am I right? She probably doesn't feel any kind of, like... I don't know, she probably doesn't feel like she has to compete with the two smaller girls, but with this tall one with the big old boobies, she probably does. I bet you anything. I can tell already. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. 
Just like nothing arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. She did a Russian accent for Monica? I, uh, I don't know. She sparks me as- she's the only one that doesn't really have a Japanese accent, so surely she's not Japanese, so British it is. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Fan fiction. I'm with it too. So, Luca, what kind of things do you like to read? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Yeah, manga doesn't count. Oh no! Why do I know everything? Manga? That does not count, I just said! I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess? Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Yeah, we're already taken with her. Yep. Girl, why are your hands so small, though? What's that about? Oh. Never mind, it's none of my business. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. That is a euphemism. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. I, too, enjoy fantasy books. Let's talk about that, shall we? Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Well, her name is Yuri, so I guess she does have Yuri hands. No? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. I don't like horror either. Maybe we'll be friends. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem, Colt. Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. She is awful cute, isn't she? Oh my god. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? I have an idea, everyone. What is it? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Uh, no. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Luca? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh... Oh no! Uh-oh, they're all sad. Great. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh no! They all- Aww, oh, good job, me. I made everyone sad. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Huh. Luca? You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, yeah. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Ah ha! They're so cute! <laughs> Look, what did you do?! You know, the thing I usually do. Awkwardly piss off everyone I meet. Yeah, I'm so happy! Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for just the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed! Then it makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Why well, you got a fart to tell me that, though? Can you stand up, please? Okay, fine. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. 
I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. <laughs> Jeez, Luca! That's gonna be- there's gonna be a lot of Jeez Lucas, I think, in this, you guys. Look, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, don't worry, girl. I'm gonna bust out the biggest haiku you guys have ever seen. <laughs> Beautiful... Girl. Hmm. <laughs> Why do you fart in front of me? <laughs> Please, Monica, stop. That was my haiku. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, the limerick's next. You have to work up to the limerick? That's like level two. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Well, I mean, looking at these girls, how could you not? This is fine. They must have been trolling us with those warnings. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I know which one I want. Hell yes. I also like that cute little pink one, to be honest. She's real cute. She's not my style aesthetic-wise, but I think she's adorable. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. How do we do it? Also, does this autosave, or do I need to save it now? Whoa. Hey, this music is catchy. Go for horror and words with meaning. You smart words. Effulgent? Is that smart enough? Yeah, it is. Oh, she she's happy. Effulgent tears. Oh. Um. Some of these words are not nice. I thought we were gonna write a nice poem. Siri likes words with emotion. Yuri likes smart. Natsuki likes cute. Hmm. This is not a very good poem so far, I gotta tell you guys. Scars? Oh no, that doesn't look nice. I don't want to write a poem about that. Why was Swimsuit there? Because he's writing a dirty poem. Boop! Boop! <laughs> yes! What What were the other words I chose among boop? Effulgent. <laughs> and imagination, and then boop. Uh, these words are getting worse and worse, aren't they? Inferno. How many of these do we have to do? Oh, 20. I just saw right now. God. And let's end it on a good note. Climax. Woo! Wait. Did I not do 20 already? Oh, shoot. I thought that was the last one. Oh. Uh, well then let's end it on an even better note. Um... Climax blanket. Yeah, blanket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. Even though you fart a lot, I still think you're cute. I'm willing to overlook it. I won't tell anyone else either. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Climax blanket. That sounds nasty, you guys. Oh, ew. That's disgusting. And I put that in your heads. Well, rip. Yeah, how come Monica couldn't be impressed with my poem is because she already wants the D. Like, you, uh, that's, I'm, I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Don't, don't spoil me on it. Thanks for keeping your promise, Luca. No problem, darling. I think you're gonna especially like my poem about the climax blanket. I don't know if you plan to come here just to hang out or what? Uh-oh, she's on to us. Well, surely she's the one that has to die. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Luca always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room? How dependable. Siri, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Uh, is that so? Uh, uh. You two really are good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Don't be jealous, girl. I'm aiming for your ass. Just sit the fuck down. It's coming. Wait, what? Never mind, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm a gentleman to women, honestly. I don't treat them bad. I don't want you to get that idea. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. That's so sweet! She wanted to make sure we didn't feel like an idiot. Aw, and she even picked a book she thought we would like. Isn't she, darling? Well, I love her. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. 
There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Illuminati confirmed. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ha <laughs> ha Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Luca? Uh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I watch Game of Thrones. It's almost the same thing, right? Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri's into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then, suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Uh... Is she setting up the premise of this game? Oh... I hope not. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. What? When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know it's always the quiet ones. I told you in the beginning. I like the messed up ones. It's perfect for me. Well, isn't she an innocent little flower? Isn't she cute? Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Ooh, baby, here it comes. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Aw, ah, she's cute, isn't she? I like her a lot. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Aw, adorable. Yeah, this is gonna get me in the bag. I mean, what? I'm worried. So far, this has been nothing but cute. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to the side. This is a euphemism, isn't it? I believe it. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than together- uh, Oh, oh, <laughs> ooh. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Um, of course that's what you meant. Yes. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Oh yeah, you guys, it's in the bag. Sensual page turning. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things she says and does. But doesn't something bad happen to that girl? I hope that's not like... Oh. Oh, no, tell me nothing bad happens to her. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, you're gonna love it. It was about um, entropy and, and a blanket and a climax and also a boop. It was, it was real good. You're gonna, you're gonna love it, actually. You're, you're gonna like it. Nah, they're gonna be impressed. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Oh, did you like the boop? That really wasn't put in for you, but maybe you thought it was great anyway. Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before- Uh, No, but I've written a lot of fanfiction. Wait, what? I've written many poems on the bathroom stall wall. She liked the climax. <laughs> hey friend. This is a good poem, Luca. Are you sure it's your first time? What? Oh, the poem, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yep. Of course. I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. But if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> well, I like the end. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. <laughs> um, well, it's... Um, uh, it's cheerful. I want breakfast, too. Give me some breakfast. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. This girl reminds me of me, and I'm a little... I'm not sure if that's good. <laughs> Want to share your poem with me? 
It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, ha, ha. Don't worry, I'll fart. <laughs> to make sure that everything's not awkward. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Especially her, because she's just got chronic gas problems. It's just out of control, actually. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Okay. Oh, this ought to be good. The only thing she's gonna like is boop. <laughs> that was- I think that was literally the only word that we used that she would even relate to. Hi. <laughs> Look at this. I wrote this for you. Ah, uh, hello? Look, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then you should just go home. What? Harsh. What, you expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Ugh. Painful to think about? Why is she so rude? Oh, she didn't like it because we didn't have enough boop. There, there was definitely not enough boop for her. We, we need more boobs. E what is this music? It's very, it's very silly. <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Aw. This is a boopy song. It's a, it's a xylophone. <laughs> it's very cute. Oh my god. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange seeds of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Luca did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ugh. And Luca liked my poem too, you know. Uh-oh. Why am I suddenly in the middle of this? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh? That's not what I... Ugh. You. You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Uh-oh. Cat fight. Maybe you're just jealous that Luca appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh-oh. Well, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh! Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Lucas started showing up. Wait, what? Did that actually happen? Oh. I have got the power! Excuse me, I'm taking a drink. <laughs> I have to drink to that. Well, ahem. All right, I mean, okay. Look, it'll happen for you. It, nature takes time. Don't worry about it. Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki, that's a little, this doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are her boobs bigger or mine? Oh, no. Well. Luca? Shh, 
She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Luca. I'm gonna save here. I don't know what the hell's happening. Well, time to give hitting that old dusty trail. <laughs> Tip to grow your boobs. Just put me in the room. Wait. There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. They're both correct is the problem. You understand that, right, Luca? Um, well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, how do I get out of this? Do I have to say Yuri because I'm going for her? I think they're both correct. Would I fuck up if I have Sayori help me? I don't want to piss them off. Help! <laughs> True neutral. Natsuki. Natsuki glares up at me drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri! Uh-oh. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless, I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Uh -huh. Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Luca. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. Uh-oh, do they both hate me now? Oh. Oops. Did I hope I didn't fuck anything up. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Is it okay? She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes... Stop. Natsuki, Yuri. You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems? They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> oh, what a compliment. <laughs> oh. Big and beautiful. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Um. Well. Sayuri. Sayuri stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Well, that was the best that could have gone. Well, I guess that means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. <laughs> I can't not see it, you guys. I can't not see it anymore. And then... Uh, vivid. Uh, uh, uh Email! <laughs> Inferno. And then... Vivacious... Uh, the whirlwind of... Boobs. And then... Let's see... The, the graveyard of perfect boobs. In my infinite boop. <laughs> Just wanna put boop in there every time I see it. <laughs> we don't wanna do that, do we? My agonizing boobs and suicide, which is not great, and then, uh, depression. Wait, depression was hers? Ah, crud. Oh. I, I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. 
That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. Thoughts? Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Luca. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Oh, that's very nice. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go? Yeah. Where are you two off to? Uh? Oh, sorry. We're just- Yuri was gonna make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it is to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just being curious. It's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? What? Get out of my face, Nosy McGee. Don't worry about it. That's... Oh, Monica, please mind your own business for once. Well, do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping to involve Luca in club activities? Uh? Uh-oh. Another fight, huh? My mouth gapes. <laughs> so she farts on her. <laughs> what a strange pose that is. This is a strange design choice. I don't understand. Man, you just put her on blast out of nowhere. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Huh. Then let's go, Luca. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Is it just me or are all these girls starting to fight a little bit here? What's happening? It's an anime pose. Yeah, I know, it's just so weird that her butt was literally on Yuri. <laughs> it's just really strange. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's just a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, no worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my- Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel you, girl. It's okay. Ah! Uh, my- Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. I cannot believe that nobody put a bits thing through with tits on it just then. <laughs> oh, you guys! Oh, you're too busy involved in the story. I can't believe it. Your hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch her chest! Oh no! The horrors! Lewd! I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, hello. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here! Oh, there's the chocolate. <laughs> I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Ooh. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Luca? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Oh god, girl! Oh my cr- Jesus. <laughs> Excuse me! We were busy? Ugh. Ugh. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems! This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Oh. I'm not used to this. What did we write in the last one? I don't remember. It was something. We didn't do the boop. Maybe it was extra sexy without the boop. 
Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me his excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Ooh, am I the raccoon? Is it Tom Nook? Maybe, is it Rocket? We don't know. Could be anybody. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. That's sad. Whoa, that's actually pretty nice. Well, lovely. Hello, darling. Oh, this is gonna go over well, I'm sure. We didn't boop. We didn't use a boop, so she's not gonna like it at all. Don't tell me! Eh? Uh, you're not- You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? And keep your voice down! You know Yuri would love this kind of- This angsty- Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean- Oh, I mean- <gasps> Looks like I'm in trouble! I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you write it for someone else, then don't just show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't the girl I was really trying to impress in the first place. Wow. We're harsh. Oh no. Well, ugh, she doesn't have to be so mean about it. Jeez! Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're probably supposed to be taking this seriously, but I just can't yet. You completely misunderstood. Ahaha, <laughs> calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless... Load me. What? Load... Load me. Okay. It's a bit weird. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ahaha! Ah, Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay. I'll take your hint right now. You never know when you might change your mind. Why is she breaking the fourth wall suddenly? Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Haha, <laughs> that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, that was weird. Suri fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Don't like where this is going. Um, I, oh, I mean, I do, I do want to grab her, so, uh, walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought make my heart pound? It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori? I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen at that time? Well, they're definitely building up to something. I just don't know what. I think probably what they're gonna do is if something bad does happen, they want you to know and like these girls before it occurs. I guess... I guess that might be a thing that is happening here. Hmm. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? 
That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Haha, <laughs> Ika means squid in Japanese. That's funny. Eh? <laughs> That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Oh, never mind. Let's just focus on our event for now, okay? So you're sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. <gasps> Did I do it bad the other day? Did I really make her upset? Oh, I hope not. Oh, but I do want to pick Yuri though, so I had to hurt her feelings, I think. Oh no. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, alright. If you say so. Check I worriedly glanced at Sayori before turning back towards everyone. She's been so much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. Sayori's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> you're so funny, Luca. Have you thought that maybe you're always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Oh. Man, boys are dumb. They don't get nothing. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do this- Oh my god, you guys, how many poems do we have? This is- this is a very slow burn to whatever they're- they're worrying about. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayuri. I don't know. How you doing, girl? You feeling better? It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Wow, she made your salt. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Luca. Sayuri. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayuri? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Oh dear. Well, she cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Well... Oh, I'm sure this is gonna go well. Yeah, no thanks. You didn't even- NEXT! Wow! Wait a minute! What is happening in this club now? Shit's happening! I don't like what's happening here. Great, so we got two girls now that hate us in this. I have destroyed this club. Single-handedly. Well... My harem ending is probably not even a thing. So, I don't know. That was what I was hoping for, but it looks like probably not. I fucked that up. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Oh, uh, that's... Haha! -ha. <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm gonna hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. I don't like what this is alluding to already. I'm worried. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Aha, uh -huh. are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Oh, yeah, that. Uh, that fourth wall again. I'm worried about this one. Oh, jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? 
Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is Sayori isn't here. Oh. Seems you're right. Oh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. I talked to her earlier. Everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Oh. Have her make some tea. I'm useless. No! That's not it at all. So, Yuri. You have to have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Luca. The one who is truly useless. Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Oh, I'm sure that she would enjoy me giving her hand with cupcakes. She can't stand us. I love atmosphere, you guys. What's going on? We don't know. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Oh. Um, I'm assuming this choice matters, right? Can you guys that have played this just tell me if it matters? I'm assuming that it does. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? It actually does matter, so I should go for Yuri. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. Yeah, no. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Luca may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? It sounds more like you're just making excuses for Luca too. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Luca to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh my god, these women. They's all crazy for the D. Every one of them wants the D. <laughs> Fight! Why don't y'all duke it out and then I'll decide. Air about a place. Man, she thirsty as hell too. All these women's just thirsty. Oh my god. I'm sure he's interested in- You literally just said! I'm surprised as well! Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Luca, you're okay with this, right? No! No, not really. In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Huh. Very well. In that case? Everyone looks straight at me. Uh, oh! Okay, if I wanted to be gross, yeah, I'm trying to get into Yuri's pants, but I've, I'm worried about my friend. Oh. Oh, this is terrible. I hate this. I hate this. Oh. I, see, if I... If bad shit was already happening, I wouldn't give a crap. But, like, so far nothing bad has happened and I feel bad. This game is guilt tripping me something awful. I am worried about her. Is she really okay? Guys, so hard! I gotta try to make amends. If shit's gonna go down, I have to try. Oh! I'm sorry, darling. Please still love me. I'll come back for you. I mean... If it's going to be anyone, that I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... 
But Monica said... Monica said that Sayuri was helping her. Jeez! Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh! You fucking trolls, you knew that would happen. God you know what? Fuck everything! Everything's out the door and it's my fault. Everything is about to be blown up. God damn it. Ugh! <laughs> Me? Are you serious? Why would you- Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean and that's why I didn't pick you, little missy. No. I was just saying. Oh. So the game just- you can't. You can't fix your friend. You can't help her. The game's setting you up to not be able to. That sucks. For her. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Then why are you pitching a bitch about it? Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. Please, if I had picked your ass, you'd be like, I don't need his help anyway, but I'll take you. Come on, pleb. Bleh. Shut up. You're so cute, but you shut up. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Man, Sayori really is like the glue that's holding this all together. I fucking hope they're not setting up for something bad to happen to her. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, I hope nothing happened to her. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Luca. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, thank goodness she's okay. Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Siri had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told her, I bet. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Mm-hmm, that bitch be working behind my back. I'm gonna get her. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you would have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this... It's just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Girl, what are you talking about? I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Boy, is this not relatable. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Whatever it takes for me to help you to stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. Finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down her face. Girl, don't cry. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayuri's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is sad. She's not hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayuri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Oh no! I'm just trying to help! Siri barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know I care. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, ah. Uh. It's what I want, I promise. 
I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayuri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to come meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I hope she's all right. I mean, she's not, but I hope we can do something. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Oh boy. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, oh, look, she's so cute in her sweater. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the door. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Take Yuri to my room. Ooh. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. That was my porn drawer, you guys. We can't have her going in there. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. Just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. Girl! Mm -mm. I know exactly what jasmine's for. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. A <laughs> vapor wave, oh my god. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body, girl. That ain't all it's for. I'm just saying. I know. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'd be perfect for sharing our poems? She reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. The ribbon is for bondage later today. Uh, okay, I was thinking the same thing, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my band head right. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. She reaches in her bag and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Oh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're gonna think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. Uh, if you promise you won't be weirded out. I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe? Oh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ahaha! <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. Knife wife! But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? What? Wait, what? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. What? What am I holding? Yes. <laughs> All of it. Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! <gasps> Luca! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. Oh, it's my fault! 
I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Um, excuse me? How do you know that? Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Here he takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. If she puts it in her mouth, I swear to God. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Oh my- What did I just say? What did I just say? Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Well, she's a vampire. That's okay. I'm still into it. Don't worry. <laughs> this hasn't ruined anything. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Oh my. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri? That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I have done something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure it was a little weird and took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. What? What's that gonna do? Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yep. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Haha. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird. She giggles shyly. Eh? Is she calling me weird? I have no response to that. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Okay. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a bad feeling about that. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cuts. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait. And see if I'm right about that. Oh dear. Gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ah! Sorry! Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Oh. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, she's got that dead aura stare from Final Fantasy. 14, doesn't she? That resting bitch face. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Uh-oh, climax blanket time. Everyone get ready. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? <laughs> Did she drug you? And suddenly her face just seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Damn it! I thought we had her. Oh, come on, man. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. You're very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? Kiss her, you dumbass. But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. So Yuri? Eh? Ah! Hi, Luca. So Yuri? Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa, oh, there she goes. Here's the flash. Holy shit. Well, that happened again, didn't it? Jeez. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori? I thought you didn't want to come over today. Well, I tried staying in my room, 
but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. God, she really is jealous. Girl, if you liked me, you should have said so in the first place. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall. Oh, this is bad. We're in a bad place. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. What did Monica say to her? I'm about to slap that bitch now. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Oh. Oh, pff. Oh, no! No! Nuh-uh! I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! Oh, no. Oh, game, no! This is- this will ruin it, won't it? And people that have played this, is this gonna ruin it? Or is it another troll that it doesn't freaking matter? Does anyone know? Oh my god, my head hurts. <laughs> this is awful. I know she needs love, guys, but it's not fair to love her falsely, is it? You can't lie to her if you love her for real. This is the absolute worst. This is the path we've kind of taken. Sorry, guys. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. I... No... We probably did a bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I feel terrible now. Haha. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Look, this technically isn't my fault. You didn't say anything about liking me before I started talking to the other girls. So if we had picked any other girl, it would have been the same outcome. Because you didn't tell me before. Why didn't you just tell me earlier? And then I could have gone for you. Girl, this is not my fault. It would be worse if I lied to her. I would not have forgiven myself. I should write a poem about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? No! For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about this. Something tells me, if I had told her I loved her, that she wouldn't even have believed it. Because at that point in time, it would have seemed so freaking fake. I don't know, it would have seemed fake to me. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. You really do know me better than anyone else. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. 
Ah! Oh no. Oh, what's happening? Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. She looks over her shoulder, flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Oh my god. What has just happened? I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding her feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. They didn't allude to anything else since the beginning. It's kind of hard to have feelings for her suddenly just because she's... I mean, of course I care about her, but not in the way she wants, and that would be lying. I can't lie. Don't worry, I'm not looking at chat. I know shit's blowing up in there. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayuri and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Fucking Monica. I don't know if I trust you right now. Luca, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the one she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again, that dummy. You think that on days this important she'd try a little harder? I say that, but suddenly remember what she told me yesterday, and suddenly I feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up? Haha. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. Wait a minute. What's happening here? I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Sure. What's... Mm. Why is there no music? Something's wrong. Grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems for the ones they performed. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Um. What the hell? What is this? Excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Uh, I think things are starting to go downhill. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Monica, what are you doing? Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Luca? What's wrong? Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that... I changed my mind! I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? Something's wrong. Quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Oh, God. Please tell me she's okay. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. 
It's not a big deal to at least wait for her, help her wake up. Why is there no music? I don't like this at all. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Larry's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Oh no, now I'm really nervous. You guys! No, please let her be okay. Music? Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up. There's no response. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no, please, please let her be okay. Isn't it kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <gasps> Jesus Christ, oh no. Oh my God. Uh oh. Well, happy Halloween. Chicken wings. An exception has occurred. Uh, chicken wings now. Sonic Scout says every is fine. Oh my Christ. Game script. Character 5. Lines 307. Yeah. See traceback text for details. Okay. Where do I do that? This music. Well, we've gotten to it. Chicken wings. One more thing is subscribed for 17 months and says, hey, you got the music back. Yeah, I fixed it. Uh, this is real bad. This is, this is bad. Oh my Christ. That scared me a little, holy shit. What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Barry wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up to a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I, I suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I told Sarah I'd be there for her. Would this have happened if I said I loved you to her? Can you guys just spoil that part for me? Could you say yes or no? That's all, just yes or no. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpful? Oh, she would have done? People are saying yeah. Nay, yeah. You guys don't know. Oh, is it an emote only mode? Are we? We are, aren't we? Oh, were you people spoiling too bad? Uh-oh. That's a problem. Doki Doki is not Okie Doki! No, it's not! What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Now I feel super bad. This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Can I reset? Is that what they're telling me to do? What if I try to do that right now? What? Are they goading me on to do this? Oh no. I don't know what to do. I don't want her to be gone. Can I retry? People are saying, yes, you can retry, and no, you can't. Something tells me it's not going to let me. I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. Ah, I want to load. Can I? Can I? Can I? 
What happens if I do? Oh, shit! What? So you're a character. The file is missing a corrupt- No! Wait, wait, no! Oh, shit! Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Uh, we broke it. It's broken. The mu the music's all fucked up, too. Holy shit. Um. Okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is hubbla my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself- This is the same! We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I must feel better off running away. However, I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and like ha blah, 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 blah catch up to me. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Uh-oh. We fucking broke it! What the shit? Um, it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Wait. It changed the story. What the hell? It's changed it. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Most of them are way too demanding. Guess I have no choice but to start with anime club. Luca? Ah! Oh my Christ! Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. I have a question. It says to check, it, like, a text file. Can... Hang on. Can I look at that? Is there a text file I can look at? Can I fix something in the game to fix her back? Isn't that what they alluded to? Steam library. Steam apps. Common... Doki Doki Literature Club. There's a PNG file, and I don't know what it is in here. There's a traceback file. I'm sorry, but an uncaught exception occurred. While running game code, file game script RPY, line 67 in script call, file script chapter, character 5, line 289 in script. Jump exception. Oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Aha, well, here goes nothing. Full game script, script character five, Doki Doki Literature Club, assist and execute. I'm just reading it. So someone deleted her. How did that happen? Um... There's a PNG in here and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to look at it? I'll show it to you right now if you guys want to see it. Hang on. Um, the PNG is a bit weird. Can you guys see this? So here's what this says. It's somebody deleting a character, for sure. And then, uh, there's also this. Which is really not great, um, at all. Um, yeah. So there's this, too. I definitely think I know who that's supposed to be, judging by the bow. That's in the folder. That's in the game folder. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's a thing that has happened now. 
<laughs> Who dat? <laughs> this game is something, isn't it? And now it's picking up. Okay, so there's a trace back in there, and now Monica's greeting us instead of our friend who has, uh, died. Monica was probably the most popular in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. She farts a lot, but no one cares. Basically, completely out of my league. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing. Oh, this is the same shit she said before. Do you guys mind if I click quickly through the same stuff that she's already said? I'm going to rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? She's starting a new one. Oh my god, what the hell? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us. She's completely gone. She's completely gone out of the game, is she? Can we get her back? Hmm. Hey, Luca. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? No. No, actually. No, I'm actually not, actually. I, I'm done. Oh, you'll notice in the bar there's a skip option. When you get to dialogue you've already seen, it lights up, click it, and it forwards the new dialogue. Oh, in that case, <clears throat> is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit, it would make me really happy. I'm getting nervous about this now. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow her across the school and upstairs. Okay, so if I hit skip, a lot of this won't be skippable. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that scared me a little. That is a jump scare, but I guess not a huge one. Eh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? The thing is that I don't want the skips to, like, get in the way of the jump scares and stuff. Like, does it, or does it save them? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Luca. All words escape me. This club? What is this in the background? Um... Excuse me? Oh my god. Uh... Okay, the background is bad. Don't look at it. This is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. She's the vice president now, is she? Oh no, it's a cursed position. I hope nothing happens to her now. I'm scared now. I should probably save. Can I... Is everything gone? It is. Alright, fine. We can't even go back to our old timeline at all. It's all gone. Um... Do I want to not go for Yuri now? Because now I'm worried about her. Although she was fine in the last story, I want her to still be fine. <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own and lack of imagination? This is all the same. I read a horror book once. I just really grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. She's having a conversation with a rock. Aha! I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. So, okay, so this is different. Before she said she didn't expect Yuri to read horror because she was so, like, shy and delicate. I remember. So that's different. Not a very confident writer? I understand how Natsuki feels. This, guys, this is all the same. This is all the same. In, in, ugh, it's weird. It's unsettling. Do we have to go through all this just to get through? Good god. This is a new game, but it's not the same at all. Something happened. <clears throat> I can't skip. It's not letting me. <clears throat> Which is weird because so far, except for the one thing said about the horror, it's all been the same. Well, can we save Sayori? How do we save her? She's gone. What do I have to do? Can I fix something? Is there like a debug menu I can go into to get her back? Sometimes those ga these games have that kind of thing. I still have other clubs to look at and uh... I lost my train of thought. They're all mad. Oh no. Who? <laughs> the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth. 
The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form our official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... I'm defenseless and so, oh, well, they're, now they're, they're really, like, relying on me now. You guys are silly. Who needs to be saved? Aha. Uh -huh. I feel terrible for letting everyone down in the situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. I can't believe we're just going on and he's forgotten everything because it's being rewritten. Okay, I've decided. Join the literature club. Hooray. Do you really mean that? Yeah. Could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all, let's be super pissed. Well. Oh boy. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Luke, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Not before she farts. Whoa. Yes. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. Lunch money, comes home before sundown, cooks. Privacy, doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, comes home without waking me up, keeps food in the house, Uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, accidentally drops coins in the couch, too tired to notice me, too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Whoa, okay. Um, interesting. Now only these two girls are here. So I guess we're going for Yuri again, because maybe we can skip a lot of it. So peaceful would have been a thing for the other girl, but now it's hers, I suppose? Blanket's back. Doki doki. Marshmallow. Um. Oh my Christ! Hello? What was that? Hi. I didn't run away, but I'm thinking about it now. That was a no. Uh. See, so you haven't changed that poster in the back. Okay, this is all the same pretty much too, it looks like. Whoa, 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 girl. You got a little something on your face there. Uh, you got a little, little something right there? Little something. No? Alright, it's gone now. You're fine. It's okay. Jesus. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. I am scared. Everyone retweet that I need help in this damn thing. This is crazy bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi! You just kind of came up in there! Like you teleported or some shit! That was cool! Um... Yeah, the room's moving a little bit too, is it? It's like, it's tilting this way! Like, it, we're, we're all gonna die in like a crazy landslide or some shit. Um, you already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Well, she's still on to us, of course. If you don't take it seriously, you won't see the end of it. Uh, ma'am? You're in front of my- I'm trying to read? <laughs> Hello? I can't- Ma'am, you're in front of the text. I can't read this. <laughs> the room is- we're, we're on a landslide. We're going down. Time to abandon ship. This is- what, are we on the Titanic or some shit? I'm sorry. I'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Oh. Wow, you're doing great so far. Uh, do you feel the room is sidling a little bit here? Cause I- Jeez. I just felt like- well, as vice president and all, that it should help you get started on something you might like. She gives us a book. Is it the same book? She doesn't want us to feel left out. She picked a book that we might enjoy. She's still very sweet. That's good, at least. Wow, we're really going sideways here. We're gonna—we're about to fall over. This is... How is she accidentally being so cute? That's the same. 
She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. We take the book. Uh, do you feel the room moving? Because I definitely do. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Whoa, okay, we're back to normal. The Titanic has stopped sinking. Good God. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. And not for any particular reason. I'm just curious, how come you have copies of the same book? Uh... This is the same? She happened to buy two of them? Yes. Something fairly obvious, she's telling me to decide to let it go. Definitely start reading it soon. Very glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about? Well, look at the cover. Book is titled Portrait of Makov. Ominous looking Illuminati eye. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Oh my. But the facility gets even worse and they start to selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of spoilers. But anyway, I'm really into it. Um... The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. Um... Ooh. That's kind of... Dark? You already made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? It's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that kind of story. It kind of challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. She cray. She's fine. Oh my god. But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? What was that? Shiva! I'm scared, hold me! I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets- What did that say? Can someone clip that? My whole body gets something. Does anyone have a clip for that, please? Kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Guys, I think we might want to stay on the clip button from now on because things are going to happen that we're not going to be able to see. Oh, check the history. Oh, I didn't even realize I could do this. Oh, you guys, thank you. Um... It doesn't have it in here. It's not in here. It's it's gone. It's it, it has everything but that. Did anyone clip it? It was my body gets hot when I'm close to you, really? Wow. Yeah, me too, babe. You're you're very pretty. It's okay. Please stop me if I start talking too much. I really don't think you need to worry. This just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, might as well get started reading it, right? Oh god, honey! You're right. Is something bad gonna happen to her? It seems like all the girls are glitching, though. Did we fuck up the story? I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just bathing to- what, what did that say? That it's not in here. These black things aren't in here. Don't stick your dick in glitchy? No, we're doing it. What are you talking about, man? Of course we have to. We're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb, blah blah blah, thumb sex. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh-oh. What is this face? We've never seen that before. She looks a bit weird. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. Oh, that's an IS-2 face if I ever saw it. Uh-oh. 
We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Uh-oh, Nani the fuck. IS2, is that you? Are you related? Are you related to a Russian lady by any chance? Actually, she's a tank. She's not really a woman. Are you related to her, though? Yuri, are you feeling all right? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... Is she turning into IS2 now because the story's changed? Or is she still gonna be sweet like we knew her before? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Um, this face is bothering me. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Oh dear. I mean, I did like IS too. So don't worry about it. I'm still with you guys. I'll still put my dick in it. It's fine. <laughs> Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Luca? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri is acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. What? I didn't do anything, girl. Please, stop farting. Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it into my bag. All right, poem time. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. Don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. What? Why? No, she was fine. She didn't do anything weird. Oh boy. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time. I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. Why is Monica being kind of mean to these girls now? Don't like it. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. That's different. This poem is much different. So what do you think? It's very freeform. Oh, we can skip now. Sorry. We, we might as well just skip the shit we've already seen, right? More stressful than I anticipated. Oh my god. The music is really out of tune in some places. What's happening? My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're looking at- oh, they're gonna fight. As they read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. Meanwhile, Yuri smells- Is this the same? It's not letting me skip. Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. She dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Oh, right. Sayori's not here to break this up. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Do have a couple suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Luca did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come up with some particularly inspiring, which I haven't. Ugh. And Luca liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member. Huh? That's not what I... Ugh. Are we gonna get the boob thing again? God, I hope so. You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Luca appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. 
How do you know you didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <gasps> well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Lucas started showing up. I am so glad that we are blessed with this screen yet again. The boob thing is back. And her boobs grew two sizes that day. Natsuki! Oh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch! Whoa! That... Oh my god. Oh boy, that did not happen before. The fucking circus here, Jesus! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Oh no, that's wrong. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Now look at her, everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ugh. Suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she was noticed I was standing here. Luca, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh my cra- this is crazy. Whoa, 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 what was that? I don't- what? I don't know what I'm agreeing to now. Guys, what did it say? Help. Wait, who am I agreeing with? I don't trust it to be the same. What if it's like an opposite? We're gonna have to look at this until you guys- Did someone- Can someone clip that and let me know what it says? I'm cheating. I don't- I don't trust it to be the same. No. Oh. What it said. I can't look at it. Someone do it. I'm cheating. I don't care. <laughs> I need an adult. Uh oh. Yuri, I love you. Um. Oh boy. We're breaking it. No. Whoa, whoa, Monica. Girl, you're breaking my shit. Get out of here. Um. What's happening? Um. Hey, Luca? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. She, she's doing this, isn't she, somehow? She's obsessed with us, is she? Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh no, she's crying, oh no. Ah, uh, don't cry. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Yeah, that wasn't... Yuri, are you in here? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Darling, are you alright? I didn't mean it. I believe you. But things have gone really downhill. I don't like this universe. The other one was much more pleasant. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Luca, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting's over. You can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. Darling, it's okay. I mean, to be fair... She kind of did get what was coming to her for that cutting thing. That wasn't cool. Don't do that. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little longer. I'm the president. I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. 
Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Luca. It would be embarrassing with you listening. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but... Oh my god. Whoa! Um... Well, there's a lot of lovely words here today. Okay... We're back here now. Are they reading the Necronomicon? I think so. Something's gonna happen here, I know it. Save us, Climax! I don't know if we'll be saved by that today. All right. Yep. Um, this is the usual scene. Yes, boobs. Split up. This is fine. Darling, you're looking beautiful today. Your 1D jizzle, jiggle physics are doing it for me. The poster is back. I see that. Welcome back, honey. How are you? Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, there she is. She's all right. She's okay. She was just visiting the Matrix. Uh, three quarters over was. She's back. <laughs> I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. It's okay, honey. Everybody has bad days. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Oh. Don't say this kind of thing so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. It doesn't look like it. Yuri's clearly taken aback at how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. This isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? What? Oh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Okay. Yes, it does still look cute. I mean, they're still cute. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Was she rewritten or something? Was her memory restruck? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. How come she's the only one that doesn't remember, but me and Yuri do? Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid of you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not! Haha. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. Let's check her time. It, was she playing the piano? Yeah, okay. So this is the same. Wasn't aware you played music. Practicing for a while is not very good. Dedicate. This is still the same. And she farts on her, just like before. Okay, good. Yeah, you should play something for us sometime. I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down. 
Monica smiles sweetly and everyone disappears into her into her thought. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ahaha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. Not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. She was not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Luca? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I, I mean in the club! Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Oh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? Yeah, this is definitely not like her. She was not this forceful before. Something tells me that she's a bit different. Uh, a little along the IS2 way of being different. Which is funny because they both look very similar. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea? Not at all. Is this the same? Yep, nice cup of tea. Water pitcher. Go with you. This is where it happens, right? Oh no, she went by herself this time. Ah, did you leave you again? No, it's not like this that time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. She's a bit of a stalker, isn't she? Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Is she alright? Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nurse water fountain. Start heading down the hallway? Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from another corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Uh oh. Is she alright? I don't like that the music is muffled. That's usually a bad thing. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, it just rewound everything. Oh, dear me. Of course. See, that was the thing I was worried about the first time we played through. So I was right about that. Okay. Well, it's just rewound us. It's like it never happened, so I hope she's okay. Thanks for waiting patiently. Do you like oolong tea? Yeah. Anything's fine. Very well. Oh, that poor darling. Oh. They did. They hinted at her arm during the weekend day, and between that and the knife, I, you kind of put two and two together, didn't you? That's too bad. Too bad, darling. Oh, I want to help her. She really is sweet. Alright, this is the same, it seems. She fetches the teapot. She's humming to herself. And I decided I would try expressing myself a bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. I think this is why she was getting so lightheaded as well. Because she does these kind of things. She might be so reserved and lightheaded in, like, public because she doesn't have a lot of energy because that's kind of what happens, right, when you do that so much. She's too bad. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. This might be the same? Yeah, her back hurts. She can read better. She has back problems from time to time. Most likely because of her big uh, eyes. Hair! The, her hair is so long. Her posture is bad because of that. Sometimes your posture can get bad because you have super long hair. Always hunched over like that is reading. Yes! It's because of her bobbies! I love that emote so much. That feels amazing, man. Emote. It's hilarious. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Oh, I hope this scene isn't messed up either because it's really cute. Oh, the chocolate. I can only imagine how this is gonna go. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is the same. Yay, we got this pretty picture again. Her 
Her left arm is reaching on top of our leg. This is normal. I take a chocolate candy, pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away. She parts her lips as if it was normal. She plays chocolate in her mouth. Eh? Her expression breaks. Did, did I just... This is the same so far. Um. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Um. I don't think the music stopped before. I can't... Luca? Suddenly she grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. What's happened? I'm so sorry. Oh god. Wait, what, what's happening now? My heart... My heart won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. She looks scared. Why is it dark? What's happening in here? I can't focus on anything. Can you feel it? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Are we supposed to be in the closet? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh god, she's in trouble. She, she looked like IS2 just then. It makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Whoa, 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 god, darling. Are you all right? <sighs> oh boy, she's not okay. She's, she's not okay at all. Nope, nope. This is IS2 levels of shit right here. Um, it's time to share poems. Okay. Um. Uh, Yuri, are you all right? I, I guess she's okay now? What the hell? Jeez! All right, do you like my poem? It's better than yesterday's, that's the same. You did a good job explaining. Wanted to give it more imagery. Yeah, this is the same. That makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. She's crazy. She's crazy in this timeline, isn't she? But why? Why is she crazy now? My heart pounds just holding it. Haha. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad? Not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too, okay? Oh, this is different. Oh, this is a lot. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gear box, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gear box, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock. Clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world. Kaleidoscope of blood is written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer correcting a sky, or connecting, sorry, sky of 40 gems and open human eyes in all directions. Good God. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, there's a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Oh my god, yeah. She's IS too. Completely. I'm okay. What did I just... Why is she so crazy in this timeline? You guys, I worry about her. 
Can we help her? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. She really is Ayas, too. Hi! Yeah, just I thought. Look, come on! I'm not stupid. I know how much time I've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about pressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club? Honestly! I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today and I really just don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Uh, bye! Okay. I did ask for- I did say that I like the crazies, so I'm gonna stick with her. I'm not worried. I just want to help her. Everyone, if you don't know what IS2 is, then you missed my Panzer Metal stream, but we came across a girl very similar in appearance and actions in Panzer Metals. Luca, I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. What? What does that mean? I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. What do you mean? What? It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. You shouldn't be talking so candidly about that. You should be trying to help her. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Why would you say this? Ew. She knows what I saw? How? Fucking hell's bells. What's happening here? I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. You're a nasty person. The point is you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that'll probably be best for her. No, piss off. I'll do what I want. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Um, yeah, okay, honey. Thirsty McFuck. I'll spend some time with you when you stop acting all creeper on my shit. You're more creepy than she is. Jeez. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Wow. Well, you just signed your own fucking deal here, girl. Uh-uh. No, I don't think so, Monica. That's rude as fuck. Now I like those two even more. Be gone, thought. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Uh, isn't this the same poem with different, with caps? <laughs> the colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful, hello. Flesh and then EXP ending and then piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Vio, and Gratin, Whiff, and Worms. Squicket, King, Screech, and Piercing. Scene, Cosine, Tangent. Like plen chalkboard at turn number turbo. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage in the dullest PM. Oh my fucking god, not gonna lie, super stoked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's down here? Delete her. Delete her. So one of her last poems said load me, which I was a bit worried about. Bit, bit worried. Oh, it was beautiful, actually. You're not crazy fucking psycho or anything. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> that was the same. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Whoa! Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who's trapped in here? You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Okay. A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere, and there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everyone laughed. 
I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV, so the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. All right. Oh, hi. Hello, that's our friend. That's a piece of our friend's face. I'll just put it where it belongs. Right here. Um, I'm looking at the folder too to see if there's anything different. Oh my god, there is something different in the folder, you guys. There's something different in the folder. Do you want to look at it? Should we look? There's a, there's a text document called I, 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 I. I hate this, I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you. And all I want for you is to hate them. Why is that so hard? Okay, that was that. There's another thing in here called, can you hear me? Um, I'm gonna show you that as well. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, or elitism, sorry, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their hosts, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire. Ugh. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or newly opened gash in their skin hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such deplorable tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Okay. Anything else in here? That's pretty much it. Traceback doesn't have anything different. Alright. Well, here we are. We're all done reading each other's poems. We have something we need to go over today. If we come sit in front of the room. Festival, sort of. Do we have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in a few days. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Luca joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Luca's even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our, opi our, our opinions for once. Oh, she got told. Well, you're probably the next to go. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Luca want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri. I don't know about me either. I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Luca, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Um, if I tell you, you probably won't like me very much. None of you will. Well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't any more places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. Oh, sorry, that was me. No, Luca, it's not the same. 
It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could just join any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Oh no. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. Kind of indifferent, I guess. Whoa! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Yuri, that's not really you saying that. Yuri, that's not you saying that, darling. I know. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. That's not true, I would. Yuri, you're not saying that. Someone's making you say that, aren't they, darling? Well... Chicken wings. Um... Jesus! This is a thing. Mr. Buckiff, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh my, what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Mr. Buckiff, you came at a crazy time. But what about you, Luca? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities. Why is her eye bleeding? No, 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 no. I saw that. No, don't do that. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm sure it was just barbecue sauce. God damn it. <laughs> with each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. God, are you all right? Oh my God. This is very unsettling. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Yuri? Huh? Um, I know things were awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know. I think you're still a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Luca? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Luca before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Uh-huh. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it so I don't walk home with my girl. Well, let me tell you, you ain't winning. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. <sighs> Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Luca, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that. What's happening to the room? And I really do care about you, you know? You don't even know me. I thought you were just a girl in my class. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. You don't even like those girls, do you? You're just being nice to save face. You're not even nice to them at all. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're farting, I get it. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Would all this bad stuff stop happening if I spent time with you, though? Something tells me no. Something tells me that's totally different altogether. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Oh, she's referring to the last timeline as well, isn't she? She absolutely is. She's, she's counting that time as well. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet, no! Uh, I didn't do that. I, it's not like I just put my book in front of your ass. 
All right, boop! The boop is back, you guys. But we're going for Yuri today, so we're not gonna do the boop. Whoa, what is this? Should I pick this? Whoa, 100 and 100, wow, 111 out of 20? We're broken. Should I pick this? Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Um, I, 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 I booped. Hi. I booped the wrong thing, you guys. I booped. I don't even... Shopping. I don't even know if I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Frightening. Got that right. Grief. Agonizing. This is real bad, actually. Empty. Depression. These are all nasty words. Um, heaven sent. That's a nice word. Tenacious. Starscape. Puppy! Destiny. Extraordinary. Boy. Not booping was a mistake. God. We, we did the wrong boop. We did a boop. But it was a bad boop. Did I do it? Hello? Hi, darling. How are you? I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Yeah, I sure am. I brought my best tea today. Oh, she seems to be in good spirits. Monica! I told you not to- Ugh! She really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Here we go again. Boy, tensions are really bad now. This timeline is bad. It's very angry. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Was that a play on words? I hope not. Well, I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Luca just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. Oh, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well... We decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Oh. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. That work? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. <laughs> Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Sorry, I need to take a drink. You guys understand. Delicious. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Was she hoping that Natsuki would say no? She's not very nice to her. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Oh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Luca's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? Uh, I suppose. Oh, boy. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh, this is very different than I thought. Bye, Sandy. Good luck, darling. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh, wait, this is the same? This is exactly the same. She's going to make tea again. Can you hold this? Plug it in the teacher's desk? Watch her movements. Yuri is elegant and methodical. This is literally the same part. It's a tea time again. Oh, I can skip this part. Oh, so sorry. Oh, we missed the glitch, though, because we have seen it again. 
Whoa, whoa, gosh. Oh, darling, are you all right? Oh, no. I think I would have liked to have seen that glitch again, but I understand why we skipped it. Wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. Chilled like ice, donates and says, So, last I remember, we were hanging out with Yuri in our bedroom. I then passed out super hard. When I woke up, everything was fucking bananas. What the fuck did I miss? Feeling like I'm gonna have to watch the VOD later. Where do I start? Um, so chilled. Our best friend. Um, she killed herself. And the game restarted on its own. And then when the game restarted, it tried to load our best friend back into the game, and it couldn't. It was like she was erased. And then it reloaded again, and now we're on this strange alternate timeline where she doesn't exist, Sayori, and all the girls are different. Like, they're acting really strange, and everything's glitched. The friend that's been erased, even the chat doesn't remember who she is, but I do. I'll keep her dream alive. Oh, and also, Chilled, you missed this part, which is really fucked up. Uh, in the in the folder where this game is held, uh, a whole bunch of like text files are showing up with poems and like saying like help me and get me out and stuff. Like it's it's fucked up. So that's what you've missed. I started hating those things about myself, my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me. And it's just easier if I close myself off. Boy, haven't we had those thoughts before I have. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. Everyone's asking if I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. Don't worry. I don't know why it's happening. Luca... Is it just me? Or has been Monica acting a little off lately? She sure has. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Um... No. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. That it. Hang on. One second, you guys. I'm sorry to stop it here. Just hang on for a minute. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. This is really sad. So, I, I, think, I think whatever's affecting the game is affecting these girls. That's the problem. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh, darling, are you alright? I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Oh, darling. Darling, I feel so bad for you. I want to help you. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Something's wrong with her. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. What's happening behind her? <laughs> that was a joke. Is that Monica? It's just a joke. I do like knives, though. Does she know? Does she know about Monica and the things that are happening? It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all a fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Oh my gosh, she's so troubled. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. 
Because we have each other. She must know. That's why she's going mad. Every day. That's all we need. So you know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get to the happy end that I've wanted years for, or waited years. Will you do that with me, Luca? Will you do da ha da ha da ha Uh... Who should I show my poem to first? Boink. <clears throat> Sorry, Monica. Fuck off. <laughs> Finally. Uh -huh. Here they hold my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Luca, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please. Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Luca. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Well, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. Oh, darling, you you are really falling fast. I'm so sad. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh my Christmas. Wow. Well, I didn't think my fanfic was that good, but apparently it is. I write the good stuff. I know what girls want to read. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Whoa. Uh, darling. Darling, it's okay. I'm right here. You don't have to do that. Believe me, I was trying to get you in the bag anyway. So you don't have to go through all this trouble. I I'll bag you. Like, honestly, I will, right now. In front of everyone. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Skin oil. <laughs> Page, oh god. Oh, no! I can't read this. Can you guys read this? I'm trying to make out any of it. What's the yellow? I don't know what that is. Is it is it something I don't want to think about? Oh, this is very long. Oh, darling, you've fallen completely apart. No. She's... Oh, she's crazy. Darling, do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... Oh, no. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. No, she peed on it. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, my goodness me! She's going crazy. Is Monica making her go nuts? I don't think she really wants to be like this. I think I'm going to vomit. Oh my gosh, the poor l oh lass. Fuck you, Monica. <laughs> I'm sure she's just gonna dismiss us. What? You give your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Ugh. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. You're just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I love her music, it's so cute. I don't know how to else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been kind of worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange. You've only been here a few days. She probably wrote this to me so Monica wouldn't know about it. So you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. This is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why. 
but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I feel so helpless, so please, if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try and do something. As for Monica, I don't know why she's, but she's being really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I'll keep it secret. This is, this is exactly what's happening. Uh-oh. Does Monica already know? I changed my mind. Is Monica doing this and fucking how? How though? Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Luca? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. No, I'm not doing it. Can you fight it? Does the game fuck up if you go to Monica first? Can someone just say yes or no on that? Can someone say just yes or no, please? Just Monica. Just Monica. What? The game just restarted. Just Monica. <laughs> Who should I tell my poem to next, Monica? Don't say I didn't warn you. What? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. What am I agreeing to? Um. No. I don't want any of this. Oh, fuck no. Uh, no. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. Did she just kill Natsumi? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Oh, okay, she's okay. Natsuki's okay. Jesus Christ, I was worried for her. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Luca? Luca's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! Oh, Monica, you, you, you done now, girl. Just gang up on her. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Luca around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Luca decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Luca make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Luca, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Oh. Oh. Guys, I, we have to, right? We have to help her. I can't leave her alone. What if she does something terrible? You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, all right? Yuri is best. No! It's not letting me click on it! You guys, it's not letting me. It's not letting me. I gotta, okay, I gotta try to, I gotta try to get this. Uh, no! What just happened? No, no, I picked Yuri. <laughs> get the hell out of here. 
Monica, 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 Monica. No. Can I scroll up? Can I click something else? Eyeball. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No. God damn it. No, I don't want to. Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Luca for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Luca away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Oh, Yuri. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Luca. Yuri really is something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't like this. Finally. This is really all I wanted. I feel so bad for her. She's being driven mad. Luca... There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? I feel so terrible for her. Wow. There's really something wrong with me. Isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Oh my gosh, save her. This poor girl. The feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Luca. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, just know how much I love you. Girl, I love you too. I, I've wanted you from the beginning. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. Wow, okay. Um, I mean, there's weirder things. But let's, uh, let's just be honest. That's not a deal breaker. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be joking at a time like this. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Whoa, okay, that's a bit weird. Okay. You do need a little bit of help, darling. I'm gonna get you that help, though. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh god, I do. I love you too. I really do care about you. I, I literally wanted you from the beginning. But can we get you fixed together, darling? I'll help you. Oh god. Okay. I've done it. <laughs> uh What's happened? <gasps> My gosh. Jesus Christ. What's going on here? No, 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 no. No, no, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. No, darling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
No, sweetheart. Oh, I was trying to save you. I wanted to help you. Oh my, oh Christmas, oh my gosh. Oh my God. <sighs> Darling, I wish I knew what you were saying to me. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. It'll all be over soon, darling. Oh my gosh, I really did care about you. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I know. Oh, I wish I knew. I think it's more horrifying that I don't know what she's trying to tell me. Oh my gosh, darling. There's a ton of this. Might want to skip. Am I going to miss anything if I do that, though? I'll just go really fast. Oh no. Sorry if you can hear me clicking. That is a lot. She's still talking to me. I don't want to let her go. I have to figure out what she's saying. Is it translated anywhere? I'll have to look it up. Darling, I cared about you. Oh my god! <gasps> We're here for... What? Are we sitting here for days? Oh my... Did we sit here all night? And another day? That's right, because it was the weekend, wasn't it? It was the weekend, we were... She's starting to decompose. Oh my god. <gasps> Darling. Darling, I won't leave you. What's that? What's this? Who's that? All right, it's festival time. Oh, no. No, she's still in here? Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't blame you. Oh, my Christ. Christ in heaven. I'm here. Luca, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, that's a shame. Wait. We were here the entire weekend. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. What? What the fuck? I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Whoa, 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 what's happening? No, don't remove her! How dare you put her back! She got rid of Natsuki as well. No! I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray, but she's gone. Oh no! Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What's... what's happened? Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Oh, everything... Can I load back? It's all gone! Of course it is! The dialogue history is empty. What's in... Okay, let me look in the folder real quick, okay? Is there anything in the folder? Oh my god, you're not going to believe this. The things we looked at before that were in the folder, the text files and the screenshot, they're gone. They're not there anymore. She erased them. Shoot. Can you hear me? Is it working? Oh! Oh my goodness, hello? Um, where the fuck are we? Are we on the fucking Enterprise or some shit? What the hell is this? Um, yay, there you are. Hi again, Luca. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Luca? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. 
In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Oh. Uh, oops. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you'd paid a little more attention. This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Uh, I did not see that. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yori. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just keep spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Luca? But what would have happened if I did spend all my time with her in the beginning times? I wonder what would have happened there. I'm gonna have to go back at some point and see. All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Luca. It's more than that, and I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. Is she talking to me? Me as a person? Not the character we made anymore. She's talking to me, isn't she? You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Because she was saying earlier that she doesn't know if we're a boy or a girl. <gasps> She's, she is talking to me. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while, either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others? How could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, so the girls weren't real. They were part of the game that was scripted and she just fudged with them. At least that's some kind of a comfort. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. Monica donated a and says, Of course I'm talking to you, Luca. Thank you. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Luca, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Luca, will you go out with me? Um don't have a choice. I mean, you could have just asked that in the beginning without fucking with all the other girls and I probably would have said yes. Without, you could have left them alone. Monica is some kind of like living AI in a game of, of dating. How did that happen? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Luca. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Haha. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. 
Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Luca. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. <gasps> Can I bring them back? Always try that. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. What? Excuse me? How does she know that? This game is not just on Steam, it's on other platforms too. What? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how did you know that? To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Can I get rid of hers? Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I have to write her a poem. There's her little chibs. Munion. Make. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Oka. Oniku. Oa. Uh, oni. Um, nka. Minx. Ua. Sock. Um, ka. Mansia. That's like the wrong thing for it. Moya. O ikia. Oh. Beautiful. This is gonna be the best poem ever. I've done it. Hi again, Luca. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Luca, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage and doubt upon me by my one and only love. Together, let's dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I'm looking at the characters folder right now, too. The only character left is Monica. There aren't any more. How do I... Is there a way to get the girls back? I don't know. We might have had to do it beforehand. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Oh, hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What? Wait, pardon me? Um, hi everyone! But, um, chat? I think she's talking to you. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Um... But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Uh, does that happen if you aren't on Twitch? Like, if you're just playing the game? Oh my god! What the hell? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. 
Are you ready? What is this? What's happening? What's going on? Oh, uh, hello? Um, I'm a bit nervous now. What's going on? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some time, oh my god, really? Did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Well, I guess that was the one jump scare you guys were talking about, eh? Oh my Christ. Anyway, Luca, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. Can I delete her now? That was the only jump scare. She's not gonna do that again, is she? Oh my god. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. Fucking hell's bells. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't trust you now. Bye, bitch. I'm getting in here. All right, I'm going to characters. Monica character. Delete. I've done it. Does any- Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's fucked up. What's happening? Look at what's happening to me. It hurts. It hurts so much. What is this, Trilby now? Help me, Luca. Oh, now we're in space. Please hurry and help me. Help me. No, it doesn't exist. I deleted it. Too bad, bitch. Did you do this to me, Luca? Did you? Did you delete me? Uh-oh. How could you? How could you do this to me? You all I had left. That's because you jump scared me. I was okay with everything until you jump scared me, bitch, and that's the end of the relationship right there. You don't do that shit to me because that affects me in a way that I can't even tell you. Don't do that shit. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No. You did bad things to those girls and you jump scared me. You're out. You're out of here. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. We can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Don't worry, I'm torturing my chat with everything we do. Okay, so there's nothing in the character screen. There's nothing else here. Trace back doesn't have anything different. Luca, you completely, truly make me sick. She, she only jump scared me because I was streaming. Oh, so the people that are just playing it on their computers don't get that? That's pretty cool though. Goodbye. Bye. Now what? Is that it? We're just looking at a blank screen. I have a question. Is there a way to put them back in the game before they get fucked up? Does anyone know? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. Just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Luca, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, Um, then? Blah, 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 blah. Did she restore it? Hello? Oh. Um. Right. Okay. The characters are back, but Monica's gone. 
She's not in the character folder either. What happens if we load a game? We have nothing. We really can't go back to the way it was. So we can't load a game. What happens if we don't put Monica back? Oh, hi, darling. Hang on, I'm just going through. Is anything gonna happen here? Okay, this is the same pretty much. Clubs, blah, blah, blah. Dialogue's a little bit different. Not interested. How could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Oh, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm, I think I'll keep it for a surprise. Oh. Meanie. Oh, she's so cute I missed her. God bless. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel I should do something special for her. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Luca? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Luca that Sayori is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Oh, I'm so glad to see they're okay. Look at him, tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Manga's literature too, you know. So if Luca wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri... Uh, I have to read manga? Oh, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, uh, it makes me happy you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, uh would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so- Ooh, I can see something brewing with these two. Hell yes! Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Hey, Luca. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hehehe. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you. For getting rid of Monica. Wait, she knew about that? How did she know? Uh oh. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that how it works? The person put in that position in the game has the power. Yeah. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh boy. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. Just F. Fo. 
or ever. No. No. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah! I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Luca. Goodbye, Literature Club. Broken. Uh oh. I can hear you. I can. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Yeah. And not really any good at it yet. Right. At all. Okay. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. Okay. So, yeah. This is Monica, I'm pretty sure. Music playing audio. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Just to find that special day. Aww. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? Uh oh, spoilers, because we didn't see some of this. Oh no! When you're here, everything that we oh no! Is fun for them Whoa, hello. Oh no! Don't, no, don't remove them. No, my wife. Oh, I think they're in black and white because we didn't see that. We didn't see it happening. There's a better ending? What did I do wrong? Yay, I got special thanks. Look at that. Woo! Well, I said no, but there wasn't really a choice, was there? This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you. For making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it closed. The file is gone. Uh, what happens now? Can I just, can I restart it? Will it restart? Or do I actually have to reinstall the game?
Let's try it. See what happens. Oh no. That is the that is the end. It, it was it won't do anything else. Interesting. Wow. It's all gone. It's still there in in the commonplace, like in the common Steam apps, but it's not working. Huh. You gotta reinstall for another playthrough. Interesting. Um yeah, that was that was scary. That was great. You must be pretty into her. <laughs>